I'm Bill Bullard with RCAF USA, the voice of the independent cattle producer in the United States of America. Well, you've all heard that silence is golden, and all that is needed for evil to prevail is for good men and women to do nothing. So let's put these two idioms together in the context of the very real prospect that an insidious movement is well underway to rob United States livestock producers of their liberty. This movement, then, is the evil that will prevail if good men and women do nothing. And the silence of all these good men and women will indeed be golden for the liberty-robbing evildoers who will most certainly prevail. So silence in this context is golden to those behind the liberty-robbing movement. So let's dig in. First, we have the Global Roundtable for Sustainable Beef, or GRSB. And it's led by the world's largest beef packers, some of the largest world banks, some of the largest global retailers, and globalist pharmaceutical companies. Indeed, over half of the executive committee of the GRSB is made up of officials from Tyson, Rabobank, McDonald's Corporation, and Zuatis, with Tyson the committee's president. So what is it that these globalist executives are trying to accomplish through the GRSB? Well, they want to implement a global plan to conform U.S. cattle producers to their notion of compliance with the environment, social, and governance framework known as ESG. Now, ESG is used by world banks to evaluate corporate behavior and to determine the financial performance of corporations. In other words, ESG is an environment, social, and governance standard used by world banks to determine who among all the other global corporations will or will not get a loan. The GRSB, then, is the global organization charged with conforming U.S. cattle producers to environment, social, and governance standards regarding greenhouse gas emissions, how you use your land, and what animal husbandry practices you employ for your cattle to ensure that the global processors that you sell your cattle to are able to obtain financing from world banks. So let's cut to the chase. The GRSB consists of world capital borrowers who want to control America's cattle producers by forcing them to meet the standards that they need to continue borrowing from the world banks. And when you have only four multinational beef packers controlling 85% of the fed cattle market, it's easy to understand how compliance with ESG standards can be forced upon cattle producers when it's used as a condition of allowing market access. But the tentacles of the GRSB have spread beyond it being just a private transnational governance corporation that can control cattle producers' behavior by restricting their access to the market. Now this liberty-robbing movement has spread to governments. First it was the Dutch, and now it's the United States government, through of all agencies, the Securities and Exchange Commission, that wants to empower global corporations operating in the U.S., to force cattle producers to provide measurable reporting of their compliance with environment, social, and governance standards. This is a huge step for these evildoers. Rather than to have to rely on market restrictions to coerce producers to meet their authoritarian standards, now they have the full force of government to force those standards upon cattle producers under the possible threat of sanctions. Now I know what you're thinking. You think I'm making this stuff up? I wish I were. But something happened on the way to the barn this week and it hit me like a freight train. A friend sent me an article titled something along the lines of the pork checkoff program is funding sustainability. Remember pork? It comes from the hogs that used to be raised about everywhere in the U.S. where your livestock auction yards rang with the weekly sound of squealing pigs. Until they didn't. And that's because the global pork packers quit buying cash hogs. They eliminated 90% of those pesky hog farmers. And they dropped all the hogs into huge corporate factories that have now introduced a brand new animal husbandry practice to their industry. It's mass hog euthanasia. So back to the article. It said that according to the CEO of the National Pork Board, the pork checkoff program has now developed a means of sustainability reporting for producers. And it describes how professionals will come to your farm and explain to you what your sustainability baseline is for your farm. Presumably, it's the same professionals that will then direct you on your sheeple's path toward GRSB's moniker, continuous improvement. You already know where the hog industry went, and you know that the cattle industry is closely following. You should be screaming mad right now. But don't scream silently while the professional evildoers step up their efforts to tell you how to run your cattle operations. Remaining silent means poof. 
There goes your liberty. With that, have a productive week. Thank you and goodbye.